I'm Dan Farber from ZDNet. It's been a few weeks since Macworld Expo where Steve Jobs uh, made his annual pilgrimage to San Francisco's Moscone Center where he strolls on stage like one of his idols, Bob Dylan, although in this case he actually communicates with the audience, to unveil his latest creations. And in this case, uh, as usual, he saves his best creation for last. Uh, he unveiled the MacBook Air by pulling it out of a Manila inter-office mail envelope. Now, uh, that got a lot of wows, and people were really impressed uh, by what he called the thinnest computer in the world, or notebook computer in the world. But uh, now the reviews are starting to come in, and we're seeing if it really holds up to scrutiny. Now, first of all, we have reviews from the pundits who were deemed worthy enough to get those early review units. Uh, first of all, we have Walt Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal, and Walt said, The result is a beautiful, amazingly thin computer, but one whose unusual trade-offs may turn off some frequent travelers. And Ed Baig from the USA Today said it's a remarkably sturdy feeling machine, especially given its size and weight. And Stephen Levy from Newsweek was a little more poetic in saying the air is a lithe sheath of aluminum so slim that it can slide under my office door. Now, I think all of those were kind of uh, one-handed uh, compliments to the MacBook Air in the sense that there are a lot of problems that they also cited and, and which I will cite for you because, you know, I feel the same way about them. First of all, it's got a sealed battery, which means if you're traveling, you're on an airplane, you run out of juice, tough luck. Secondly, it's got a relatively small hard disk drive, 80 gigabytes, and I can fill that up with a couple of scoops from my digital camera. And it also lacks ports. In fact, it, it only has uh, a couple of ports, and, and that's a big problem. No Ethernet built in. And for something like EVDO, which I use to, to get the modem in there, requires a dongle and you know, that's just unattractive in, in, in Steve Jobs' terms. So it is incredible, it is cool, but I don't think it's that practical. And in fact, thin comes at a price. It strips out some vital organs. So just like a model where thin is in and uh, you won't get a job unless you're thin, this is a case where thin probably is not going to result in the kind of sales that you would see in a typical Mac notebook that comes out. So uh, for those who are ma uh, Steve Jobs kind of fashion aficionados, then maybe it's the machine for you. But uh, for me, I'm going to take a pass.